one. The nays are 48. The motion is agreed to. Mr. President. Senator from Alabama. Mr. President, I thank um, my colleagues in the Senate serving in this body for 20 years. has been one of the great honors of my life. I remember coming up when I was running for the Senate and going to the Republican luncheon, and they said, well, you've got a few minutes. You can say something, but don't talk, talk very long. People don't want to hear a lot from you, frankly. Um, and so I told them that I could think of no greater honor than to represent the people of Alabama in the greatest deliberative body in the history of the world. And that's what I feel about this body. I want to say I appreciate the full debate that we've had. I want to thank those who, after it all, uh, found sufficient confidence in me to cast their vote to confirm me uh, as the next Attorney General of the United States of America. I got to tell you, I fully understand the august responsibilities of that office. I served as United States Attorney 12 years and Assistant United States Attorney for a little over two years. And during that time, the very idea of those great leaders in Washington leading those departments that I served under uh, makes it almost impossible for me to conceive I might be, I'm that person and we'll have that opportunity and that responsibility. So I understand the seriousness of it. I have an interest in law enforcement. I have an interest in the rule of law. Uh, so I want to thank those of you who supported me and had confidence in me in moving this forward. I want to thank President Donald Trump. Uh, he believes in the rule of law. He believes in protecting the American people from crime and violence. He believes in a lawful system of immigration that serves the national interest. And within bounds, those are things that may, from time to time, come before the Office of Attorney General. And I look forward to lawfully and properly advancing those items and others that we, as a body, share, the American people, believe in. The Attorney General, this is a law enforcement office. First and foremost. People expect us to be those who defend us, defend us, defend us from criminals, defend us, the country from fraudsters who raid the United States Treasury time and time again and too often not being caught or held to account for it. I believe that's a big responsibility of the United States Attorney General and this whole Department of Justice. As a former federal prosecutor, I worked regularly, nights, weekends, became personal friends with fabulous federal investigative agents. They give their lives, place their uh, lives on the line for us to promote public safety, to try to uh, do the right thing for America. And sometimes people think them as some sort of beady-eyed plotters to take away our freedoms. That is not so. They're out there every day of putting their lines, lives on the line to advance our freedoms, to protect our liberties, to protect public safety, to stop terrorism that threaten our government. So I, I, I feel strongly about that. And I had the honor to lead some of the finest assistant United States attorneys in America. Our goal, well, before I became an assistant, I was told that Mobile had the best U.S. Attorney's Office in America. So when I came back as U.S. Attorney some four, six years later, I told them that was our goal. We want to have the best United States Attorney's Office in America. And what a great time we had. We had wonderful people. Uh, they worked nights and weekends to prepare their cases. We went before great federal judges. Uh, and it was a glorious time. It was really a special time. And I uh, will never ever get over that. When I was before the committee in 1986, and Senator Kennedy, later my friend, um, spoke harshly about me. It was in the TV. They would show his statement. I should resign my office. And so at, 
I got my chance some few minutes later when I had a chance to say something. I said, Senator Kennedy, what you said breaks my heart. Nothing I've ever done have I been more proud of than serving as United, United States Attorney. And I still believe that. Nothing I've ever done am I more proud of than the work we did in that little office in Mobile, Alabama, for representing the United States of America. You go into court, you stand before the judge, and you say the United States is ready. I represent the United States of America in a litigation. So this is a big deal. And so I would say to you, friends and colleagues, that this is a special honor. I feel it in my bones. I hope and pray I can be worthy of the trust you've given me. I'll do my best to do that. And let me comment a minute on the heated debate that we've had here in the Senate on my nomination and others. Um, it was um, an intense election. There's no doubt about that. Um, there have been strong feelings expressed during the election and throughout this con confirmation process. And some of the times we have philosophical disagreements, just sincere disagreements about policy, what's right and what's wrong, what the law says, what it doesn't say. I believe words ought to be given fair and plain meaning. meaning. Words aren't tools that can be manipulated to make it say what you want it to say. I believe words have objective meaning. So we have sometimes differences about that. And, but that's what elections are about. And I've always liked the debate. I've always enjoyed uh, participating in this great body where we are free to speak and, and, and be able to advocate for the values that we have. Um, but I don't think we have such a classical disagreement that we can't get together. Um, I've always tried to keep my disagreements from being personal. I've always uh, uh, tried to be courteous to my colleagues. Still, tension is built in the system, right? It is there. Uh, and the plain fact is that our nation does have room for Republicans and Democrats. That's what freedom is all about. I'm fairly firm, I gotta say, in my convictions, but that doesn't mean that all of us have to agree on the same thing. We need latitude in our relationships. And so let's agree on what we can agree on, and I suggest that to my colleagues as I leave here and, and uh, take action uh, where we can agree on things. But denig denigrating people who disagree with us, I think, is not a healthy trend for our body. Um, after I'd been here for a number of years, I'd gotten along pretty well with Senator Kennedy on the uh, Judiciary Committee, and he asked me to be the lead sponsor with him on the significant, pretty controversial, prison rape bill. And there were a number of honorable people who opposed it, some friends of mine, and he said, I want to do this with you. No, so people ask me, do you ever have a reconciliation? You, you uh, do you apologize? Do you ever say? He said, I want to do this bill with you. And I knew what that meant. And I appreciated that. And I said, I want to do it with you. And so we were able to pass that bill together. It was a moment of reconciliation that meant a lot to me. And I think he appreciated it too. And uh, we later got involved in a major piece of legislation, just the two of us, that would have established a portable savings plan for young workers for all Americans like the federal thrift plan. About that time, the financial crisis hit, and then he had illness, and it never came to fruition. But reconciliation is important. We ought to do that in this body. We ought to try to uh, fight for our values and not give an inch. You don't have to back down if you believe you're right, and you should not back down. But there are ways that we can get along personally, and I would say that would be my 
prayer for this body that in the future maybe the intensity of the last few weeks uh, would die down and maybe somehow we get along better. So colleagues, I can't express how appreciative I am for those of you who've stood by me during this difficult time. I could start calling names, but uh, it wouldn't be appropriate. Uh, I want to uh, say again, I appreciate the president and his confidence in me. And by your vote tonight, I have been given a real challenge. I'll do my best to be worthy of it and look forward to working with each of you during that time and uh, maybe to make sure we have a good open door at the Department of Justice. My wife has picked up uh, pretty quickly uh, that we have a chef and we can actually invite people for lunch or breakfast at the uh, there and maybe we can do that. And finally, um, let me thank my family because without their support, I could not be here. It's great that my children have been so engaged in this. They were young when this happened. My 86th adventure occurred, and now they are grown and they paid attention to it. And I think your support and affirmation has meant much to them. Mr. President, I have here, I guess I should present to the body, it's a letter uh, that uh, it needs to go to this body also, but it's to Governor Bentley of Alabama, in which uh, I state these words. I hereby give notice that I will retire from the office of the United States Senator for the state of Alabama. Therefore, I tender my resignation at 11.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on February 8, 2017. Thank you all. Honored to be with you.